What's up guys, Skitter Rampage here. So this is a first look at the 10 inch Jack Jack. Now I originally thought this pop was fake. I didn't think they were being serious when they said Incredibles 2. Now, <clears throat> what I find weird is I get like I get that they make, you know, more lines of pops and everything, like way later than they've come out, obviously. So it makes sense, but it also doesn't make sense because the movie's not popular anymore. So why would they think anybody would want this? Of course, people are going to buy it. Like, I don't I don't know. I considered collecting the whole line myself, but I ended up selling it off just because I think I was just hyped up because I thought the movie was good at first. And that's kind of what happened. So <clears throat> I think the same thing with the Venom because I've been considering trading my set now for something higher end DBZ piece, you know, but um I don't know. I I don't know how I feel about this one. It's a Target exclusive as well as all um, the 10 inch pops have been, which is, I don't know. I, I think that's kind of a bummer because I think Target's like one of, at least one of the worst ones with releases just because, well, see, I don't know. There, you know, there was a lot of, oh, um, you know, you know, it's weird. I don't know. The, the, uh, the pop, like, the pop symbol on the box actually looks really weird. It looks kind of fake. Yeah, it looks fake because like maybe maybe that's because the design's bigger, but on these smaller boxes, I don't have a 10 inch to compare, but the dark, the dark is like or the out black outline is darker and slightly thicker. Um the white they got the white centerpiece, but I don't know, there's no there's no like pop like uh, Disney or anything under it. I don't know. Is it? I've just never seen the pop without anything under it. Like, like for, for DBZ, it's animation for pot or for arrow. It's television for, oh, well, I guess there's venom weird that they wouldn't just put Marvel or something. I, I guess, I guess, I guess that's not fake. I don't know the letter, like the, it just looks a little weird to me for some reason, but um, number 494 in, in the line. Um, now, I'm sure a lot of people are excited for this. A lot of the Incredibles fans and all this, you know, who, people who have the OG set and then the whole new set. And I'm just like, oh, my God, that that Mr. Incredible alone, like twelve hundred dollars. Nope. That would just steer me away from the collection. Trust me. P.A. Vegeta, uh, Planet Arlie of Vegeta at almost two thousand dollars steers me away. I'm getting accustomed to that. Like I'll try for Metallic Beerus and some of the other higher pieces. But anything over like three, four hundred dollars out of my trade range, it's it's out of my budget. It's out of my budget, guys. So I don't know. I, I think it's kind of a creepy pop um, in itself as well, just because like I don't he's just you know, it's weird. Also, they had so many they had so much potential with this for a 10 inch jack jack and they i kind of i feel like they failed us just in a sense of they could have made this anything i know they made the monster one a little bit but that would have looked cool as a 10 inch him when he got huge in the movie um i'll pull up a picture of it but when he got huge in the movie uh he could they i don't know they just i feel like the potential was wasted on this on a normal jack jack pop that we already have um at least three or four, I think, in his normal costume variants. Like, come on. Come on, Funko. I mean, were we expecting more to it? Probably not. Like, honestly, I think most of their chases and most of their lines, they put, like, at least 30 to 40% effort in. That's just what I feel like because, I like, I love their products. But come on. Some of those chases, like Jasmine with an apple, are you serious? Are you serious with an apple? That's a chase? Okay. Okay, whatever you say, Funko. But that's like a whole nother video that I could possibly do. Um, if you guys want to hear my opinion on all that. I guess he basically did, but I have more to say. Anyways, so here's a, um, a closer up picture of him. And, well, I got to say, folks, it's creepy. <laughs> Look at him. He's just, his eye, I think it's the eyes. I, I, I want to say it's the eyes that are just getting to me. I, do, I, I don't know. But the, even the mouth, the eyes, just like the huge head, I think it's like, I think that's what's creeping me out. And I'm not too sure. I, I wouldn't own this. Um, I've been considering doing another giveaway sometime soon. So I don't know. Maybe this would be a cool giveaway item. But uh, man, shipping's killer on that thing. But um, I don't know. I don't, I've been trying, I've been thinking of things to, I want to do a giveaway. So 
um, for a thousand subscribers. I know I'm late. All right, I almost have 1,200 now. All right, guys, I was trying to think of something to cool, but I can't think of anything that hasn't been done yet. And nothing like you guys recommend a skydiving. I can't be doing that. I'll die. Like I'll just I'll die from just doing it. Not even not even the fall. There's just doing it. I'm gonna pass out and die or something. I don't have a heart attack. But anyways. I don't know. Tell me you guys' thoughts on this pop. If you think it's cool, if you think it's creepy, if you think like why Funko, like why more ten inch pops when we we're out of space. Like I'm out of space. So with these four inch pops, so why would you give us more ten inch pop? They've done so many ten inch pops lately. It's just kind of crazy. Like honestly, the ten inch Mickey didn't need to be done. The Ultra Zord, I guess that was an okay one. Um, it was cool looking, but I don't know if it really needed to be done. Uh, Mickey definitely, the other variants colored Mickeys definitely did not need to be done. Um, McScrooge, I don't think he needed to be done either. He already had a six inch pop. Um, I believe that's correct. I'm not sure. Too sure. Um, Toothless, I, I, honestly, that that's a good one. I feel like that, that one deserves to be done because it's toothless. But like Baby Jack Jack, do we really need a life-size one of the common that we already have four or five variants of just i don't know i guess i'm just i just ugh, i'm just iffy towards it but if you're excited about this tell me down below and like i said your thoughts creepy yay or nay anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like subscribe and share thank you guys for watching see you guys later